Azure Gleam. The King Awakens. The Kingdom's assault on the former Arendelle territory proved successful, but the wind carries dire word of invasion from Srang in the north. Having lost contact with Margrave Gautier, Dimitri departs Aryan Road and makes for the capital, Ferdia. He fears he may be walking into a trap, yet he marches on all the same. And you're sure? Very. The Srang people did indeed attack, but they never broke through Gautier territory. Meaning the Margrave is unharmed. Why then was our contact cut off? It's possible someone within the kingdom is interfering. The Margrave suspected as much when his initial envoy never returned. In response, he dispatched a slew of messengers, myself included, all on wholly distinct routes. It would appear I'm the only one who arrived safely. It's good to know my father's safe. But it's starting to sound like we have a big problem on our hands. Like as not, someone's ambushing these messengers as they pass through Blathed Lands. And this is bringing back bad memories. It's all too similar to when Count Rowe's convoy was attacked. The Boar suspected Cornelia at the time, and I'm growing ever more inclined to agree with him. Have you any news from the North? What of the capital and the King? Nothing at the time of my departure, I'm sorry to report. Guess there's only one way to find out, then. We should head up there ourselves, Felix. The Margrave would surely send word if something were to happen at the capital. I imagine we'll have more clarity on the situation in a few days' time. We don't have a few days. You need to act, Felix. And you need to do it now. <sighs> But if we move too rashly, the Imperial forces near the fortress will grow wise to our maneuvers. As though any of that'll matter if the King winds up dead. Losing Aryan Road would be the least of our worries then. We'd be trapped in a massive war of succession and easy pickings for the Empire. <sighs> Even at a distance, that man has an uncanny talent for giving me headaches. Very well. Notify all troops stationed at the fortress, and round up a team of our most elite soldiers. We're heading north. Hunger is the true enemy. Yeah, the f Oh, but this is si It's true what they said. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. <laughs> wow, this, this is heaven. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Hey, this 
This is great. Then you know my food preferences? Not a fan of... Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? This surprise pleases me. How did... Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Whenever you're hungry. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Give this a try. Hey, this should. I have. Oh, Time to work you into shape.
horns. Training can be the difference between Vic. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. None shall see. Depart at once. Do what I need to. Time to go to... I'll do whatever. I'll do my best. We'll win if we work together. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Or I have to. You can count on me. <laughs> Shall we? 
Shall we? I must. I'll handle this. Let us begin. We're done for. The rest is up to you. That should do it. Make a good foothold. Our or I'll do all I can. I've got you now. Operation. Come <laughs> on. 
Let's finish this! Yes, let us be next. This is the end. My turn. I'm not one to boast, but if I can contribute so much to that. I knew you could do it. to saying that yet. That's what you want. I fight for my land of home. I won't let you down. Follow my lead. Let's work together. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'll give it a thousand percent. We can do it together. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. They're undefended. I'm swapping in. The situation is not in our favor. Let us proceed with caution. You are mine! Please find it in your heart to help me! Spirit watches over me. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. I'm on it. I'll handle this. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. All done. What is the next order? <laughs> Lose no 
matter what. Our order. Is it my turn? In the name of Bridget. 
Strength. We've received a message from Margrave Gautier. It seems there's an emergency at the capital. No. I hope His Majesty is safe. Cornelia has arrived at the gates of Ferdiad, leading the combined forces of the Western Lords. And here I thought we were keeping an eye on those guys. It seems they outsmarted us, though. If this message is anything to go by, they must have been hiding their tracks from us somehow. Sounds like they're outfitted with strange new weapons as well, which they use to threaten the citizens of the capital. And so, our fearless leader surrendered to the enemy to protect the people of Ferdiad from harm. I'm not sure what's become of Dedu or my father. And what about my father? He was guarding the city with Duke Yvonne. I haven't heard of any harm to Gustav, but we can't assume the same for the Duke. I'm worried about Dedu and the others. I can only hope they're unharmed. I agree, but they're not the sort who would abandon their duties to save their own skin. We need to head north, Felix. There's no time to lose. Right you are. We make for the capital. Such a selfless leader, sacrificing his own well-being for that of his people. It seems somewhere along the way, he's actually become the kind-hearted king you took him for. Maybe. But if he does die, the people will be next. As if there's any avoiding that, let's say he'd turned his back on his citizens and sought to prolong his own life instead. He would be reviled as a warmonger. One who sought conflict to protect his people, only to abandon them to the wolves when it mattered most. Commoners and lords alike would cast off their allegiance to him, and the kingdom would plunge into chaos. Either way, there's no point speculating. If Dimitri dies now, it's all over. 
Ah, the struggles of being a leader. Your choices certainly carry more weight than those of a simple mercenary. Merc life's a walk in the park in comparison. All you have to care about is you and your company. And if worst comes to worst, you can just drop everything and run for your life. Not to say the profession doesn't have its own share of challenges. One's not necessarily harder than the other. But one thing is clear to me, at least. You'll never be cut out for the nobility. I could do without the insults, thanks. What do you think? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Troubling indeed. Let's see. In short. Now then, where shall we be off to? I truly appreciate the invitation. Foolish of man to mar such a solemn and majestic landscape with the scars of war. Just as nobility must abide by their duty, my position demands certain responsibilities of me. Mark Monastery has been the heart and soul of the church for over a thousand years. That is all. I know what it is like to have one's parentage shrouded in mystery. Of course, in my case, it is because I choose not to make such details public. My thanks. That was a welcome respite from my duties. Please invite me again, should the opportunity arise. show you what a mercenary can do. I'll cut them all down. Hey, why not? Let's earn our keep.
Here goes. Let's fight together. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Stand down. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. I'll do what I can. This stronghold. I'll do what I can. It's will fall. Take a breather. Secure the area. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah, all right. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to... It's worth a shot. Not a problem. I've got you. Let's go. strong enough. Do 
what I can. I'm here to help. Not a problem. I'm here to help. I'll give it a thousand percent. I'll back you up. I'll do what I can. Is it worth called? Time to make a name for ourselves. To me. I'll do what I can. I'm here to help. Oh, it's the net time. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Turn. Nice one. Here, come with me. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. You like that? Stand down. Holding this position will make our lives easier, right? Hold your position. None of them get through. This will be your grave. Give it up. Trust you've been well, your majesty. Do I look it? I suggest you have your eyes examined, if so. I should sever your head clean from your shoulders for this. My, wouldn't that be satisfying? But of course you can't do that now, can you? Your poor people's lives would be forfeit the moment you struck me down. As for your loyal knight and the former Duke Fraldarius, they're certainly giving it all they have, but a paltry force that size will hardly buy them any time. And once we've wrung the life from them, you'll be next. How tragic it'll be facing your beloved citizens for the final time with a noose around your neck. You know, I almost appreciate seeing such bold-faced sadism. There's not a hint of nuance to it. Is that a compliment I hear? You'll make a lady blush if you're not careful. Ironic, isn't it? Both you and your father will have died alone, betrayed by lords from within the very kingdom you're meant to be ruling. From hasty reforms to insurrection and assassination, did you learn nothing from dear old dad? It's only natural that those you refuse to help would hold a grudge. 
Lady Cornelia, Kingdom soldiers approach the capital from the south. They're most likely returning from the assault on Arian Road. <laughs> I've been a bit too careless, it seems. They've come far sooner than I had expected. Use the bandits to buy us some time. We'll form ranks and intercept these fools at the capital. Understood. Seems you get to cling to your pitiful little life a few moments longer, Your Majesty. <laughs> what luck. Oh, but don't worry. When your end does come, it won't change your beloved Fodlin one bit. You see, these people are nothing more than simple-minded sheep. A ruler dies, and they all go flocking straight to whoever fills the void. <sighs> they would hold a grudge. Yes, that is the way of revenge. Perhaps it was inevitable it would turn its cold gaze back upon me. Sorry I kept you waiting. You ready to go? <laughs> I was just about to ask you the same thing. Northerners like me love spending their summers down by the water. It's nice to get away from all the snow and ice once in a while. His Majesty didn't have much of a way with women when he was young. Though, the years haven't really changed that either. Hey! Ingrid's more delicate than she looks. Don't tease her too much, okay? Felix used to be such a nice kid. What happened to him? So the story is... Thanks. to do
Another day. Leave this to me. Give it all we've got. Ready, everyone? Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Shall we? I must six. I'll do what I can. It's worth it. Let's move. Stay strong. We can win this. Do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make stand down. Shall we? I must. Do what I can. I'm here. Onward. Well, what's next? Shall we? 
I must succeed. Hear you loud and clear. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Pretty good, huh? Got you. Got you. going everyone that's one in the wind column Follow my lead. We're getting out of the... I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. Shall we? I must succeed. I'll do what I can. I'm here to help. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Stand back. Hear me? We've still got options on the table. Don't worry. We'll make it through this. We need backup. Please, hurry. Talk to him. 
Got you! I got this! Let's take the stronghold! Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'm a little here. I We're go. done for. The rest is up to you. <laughs> I can. I'm here to help. We're done for. Shall we? I am on my way. I'll do my best. I'll back. The rest is up to you. Stand down. But I gotta fall back. We shall not fail. And clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. We have a job to do. I'll do what I can. It's worth. All would be lost if I were to die here. I say this is defeat. I'm sorry. Oh, too easy. Hear you loud and clear. Come on, let's get marching. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure. Okay, let's go. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. You called. I can. It's worth. Ah! Here I go. Taste more bitter than black as coffee. Well, what's next? <laughs> Hope this helps. And clear. I might just one tough fight on your hands. Wounds are severe. 
I have to fall back. Now we can... I'll do what I can. It's worth... And really show them what we're made of. I have to keep going. I'll do what I must. You are in fine form. Out of the way! That should do it. Should be safe now. I will not. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. I'm ready to be battling. Let us go. I'll do. Begin. Our teamwork is becoming excellent. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Shall we? I must succeed. Well, whatever Leave this I have to me. To... You can count on me. Let's take it for ourselves. I have you! Oh no!
Shall we? I must succeed. That should do it. Things will get even worse if I sign. Bring it down quickly. I'll do my best. I'm a little cute. Onward. Do not interfere! This belongs to us. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous. I'll do my best. I'm a little... You have my support. Lament your weakness! Yeah, yeah. Uh, retreat! Shall we? I must. Good enough? I won't say it! Sorry for the father, my dear. Do not interfere. Bring it down quickly. No looking back. If you can do it, I can also do it. Your defeat is nigh. outcome.
This better not be one Have I read? Time to work you into shape. training, you'll be unstoppable. I'll cut them all down. show you what a mercenary can do. I can depart at once. I am ready to be battling. Don't fall behind. I am not in... I'll do what I can. Begin. I am advancing. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I will give it my all. I shall do my part. I will Here to I fight, go. But I will when I must. Do you want me to lay an ambush? Begin. The sky...
begin. The skies. I have finished with great success. Why? Spirit. Stand down. Wounds are severe. I have to call back. All done. What is the next order? The enemy stronghold will be ours. A taste more bitter than blackest coffee. I can't lose. This is not. It's worth a shot. This is not It's worth a shot. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches. I'll do my best. I'm a little. I have finished with great success. I'll not falter. When to retreat is a vital strategy. I did it. I really did it. Yet yes. they are relying on me. Let us assist 
each other. Out of the way! Leave this to me! Help me out! We are better together! I won't hold you back! I've got you now! We... we won! I'm still not quite used to saying that yet. Counting on you. Um. Oh, what? Oh, no. So, right on. <laughs> what? Hey there, greetings. Welcome. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Nothing. 
Nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Come back soon. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. training, you'll be unstoppable. Never thought I'd see the day you shut yourself in your room to read. I hear you've been pouring through every book on magic you can get your hands on. Hey, I read sometimes. Anyway, I had this great idea I needed to do some research for. I'm afraid to ask. Wait, what's that diagram? <laughs> a perceptive question. This here is a blueprint I came up with for a new kind of fire orb. Uh, really? You're talking about those flame-flinging siege weapons, right? Because that looks pretty small for a fire orb. <laughs> well, that's the point. I want to make it so that our knights can carry one around as easily as they do their swords. What would that accomplish? Knights don't have the training to use something like that. How right you are. The wielder needs both special training and some natural magical ability to use one. At least, that's the case with our current fire orbs. Which brings me to my main goal. Making it so that anyone can use them, no matter their background. I mean, think about the havoc we could wreak if your average knight or myrmidon could also blast out some fire magic whenever they wanted. That's actually a great idea, Sylvain. I bet we could come up with some amazing battle strategies with those things. Right? I knew someone as special as you would understand. Either way, it won't be ready anytime soon. I'm not sure when I'll finally be done with it, honestly. If you don't hurry, the war will be over before you're finished. Battle's not the only place it'll come in handy. People who don't have any other training could use it for self-defense. Huh. Come to think of it, that's the same reason you were so interested in my sword. 
Does this have to do with House Gautier? I know your family's been dealing with Serang for years now. Yeah, more or less. We've gone through some pretty tough times. My father's first wife, Miklon's mom, she died in the Serang raid. We've managed to hold the border for about a hundred years now thanks to the Lance of Ruin. But they keep pushing our limits. Frankly, I admire their determination. It did seem like Margrave Gautier was pretty used to fending off their attacks. It's not like he's had much choice. Once I inherit his title, I'll keep doing whatever I can to hold them off. But it's going to be tough without a stronger military. If the king had forces of his own, he could send them in at a moment's notice whenever we were in trouble. Problem is, the last king already tried something like that. <laughs> it ticked the local lords off to no end. Makes sense. If the king grows stronger, everyone else loses a little bit of their own influence in comparison. Anyone would have a hard time swallowing that. I'd say it's worth it if it means the kingdom won't descend into chaos. Whatever the case, any reforms we enact will need to be peaceful and well-founded. Which is exactly why I want us to be able to fight on our own, without having to rely on our relic or on other lords. Well, Sylvain, you actually sound like a real heir now. It's a nice change from all the skirt chasing you used to do. Hey, the future of my house is on the line here. Even the laziest guy in the world would be worried about that. Sure, the kingdom might be a half-frozen stretch of dirt, but it's my half-frozen stretch of dirt. And it's the only home I've got. Home, huh? Hey, Ingrid. Glad I tracked you down. Have you ever heard of Tobias's mercenaries? What an odd question. Tobias, hmm? The name does sound familiar somehow. Huh. I thought everybody knew about them. Captain Burling must have exaggerated that part. Anyway, they were a big mercenary group my old captain used to be in when she was a kid. Apparently their leader, Tobias, was so loyal to one of the local lords that he was practically an honorary advisor. Strange. I thought mercenaries kept interactions with their employers strictly business. Most do. But not only did these mercs fight for this lord, they pitched in building the castle town, too. They even went so far as to trade their swords and bows for hoes and pitchforks, and tilled the barren land for the farmers of the region. And they opened up shops in town when the lord was going through some financial troubles. It sounds like they went far beyond what is expected of most mercenaries. Unless... is that something you all do? Oh, not at all. We're fighters through and through. Nobody in their right mind would ask us to drop everything to become farmers or merchants. Basically, both the mercenaries and the Lord were doing stuff way different from how they normally do. Yes, of course. A bunch of sellswords planting seeds and tending a shop is certainly unheard of. In the end, this captain grew so close to the noble of the region that people started calling him the Lord's right-hand man. I guess my point is, it doesn't matter what you are. Mercenary, knight, noble. You aren't tied to any one role just because of the title you hold. Even battle-hardened mercs can end up as farmhands if that's what the client calls for. And if that's possible, Surely a noble can do anything they want, too. <laughs> True enough. That ties into our conversation from before as well. Thank you. I will give the matter some thought. Good. I know it won't be easy to find the answer, but I'm here to bounce ideas off if you ever need it. And no matter what, I'm just glad my old captain's story actually helped you. 
All this stuff about Tobias and his mercenaries really caught me off guard the first time I heard it. You were right about that. But, hmm, I cannot shake the feeling that this Tobias person is familiar somehow. Wait, I remember now. I believe the noble in your story may have actually been my grandmother. Really? The last head of House Galatea? Yes. I don't remember very well since I was still so young, but I recall she had a friend by the name Tobias. Though I find it difficult to believe the old man I knew was once a strapping mercenary captain. If it really was him, he must have climbed the ranks even further than I realized. I mean, not just anyone can meet a noble's family like that. Who would have thought this old story would hit so close to home? <laughs> Certainly not me. What were you thinking? Sticking your nose into some soldier's fight? You have a lot of growing up to do if you're still throwing yourself in the middle of random brawls like that. Keep this up, and House Fraldarius' reputation will be rolling in the mud with you. Not to mention how it reflects poorly on His Majesty, considering he's the one who made you a duke. I know all that. Do you? Because you don't look like a man who's achieved some fantastic new enlightenment. This is rich coming from you. I liked it better when you used to take the heat. <laughs> Are you kidding? You were always the one being scolded when we were kids. Only because you were a half-wit who kept dragging me into your ludicrous schemes. Was that how it was? Now, whatever you say. But tell me, what's got you swinging your fists around this time? Nothing specific. I just couldn't back down after getting involved. You really need to start being more careful. <sighs> Look, you've even got a bruise going. Who knows what would happen to Fargus if we lost you? I won't say you'd be fine without me, but you do know I could fall in battle any day now, right? <sighs> Bite your tongue, Felix. Just think for two seconds. What would happen to Fargus? and to his majesty if you died he's got too much on his plate already yet he insists on doing everything himself war with the empire battles outside fodlin governing the kingdom reforming the entire social structure of pretty much everything if he didn't have you at his side he'd fall flat on his face you speak as though you have no stake in this whatsoever we're in the same situation. One of these days, you'll inherit the title of Margrave Gautier. Are you ready for that? I know, I know. Trust me, I am very well aware. Which is why I always act with the utmost integrity. You're the complete opposite of integrity. Though I suppose you have been attempting to shake some of your old habits recently. You know, it wouldn't kill you to pat me on the back every once in a while. You're like a baby that just learned to walk. A pat on the back would only knock you over. You can try to make up for your past actions all you want. But that kind of thing isn't easily swept aside. The sooner you realize that, the better. <laughs> uh, that tongue of yours is sharp as ever, I see. Never change, Felix. I guess I was a touch reckless this time, as much as I hate to admit it. So I'll give you that much. <sighs> this lovely weather gives cause for my feet to wander of their own accord. I spy a familiar face! 
great day, Ash. Morning, Flame. Out for a stroll? Yes. And you are... fishing? Yep. The army's a bit short on provisions, so I was thinking I could help add to the pile. What a simply splendid idea! Can I take a look at your catch? Oh, help yourself. I've been out here since before dawn, so there's quite a few fish already. Goodness, you're right! You must be a talented angler indeed! Oh, thanks, Flane. And yeah, not to brag or anything, but I'm pretty confident in my abilities with the old fishing pole. My brother used to take me fishing in a nearby river when I was little. So he taught you all you know? I must admit I'm ever so jealous. I used to go fishing with my mother long ago, but I haven't done it in years at this point. And if I even think about getting close to a river now, my brother swoops down to give me an earful. I'm sure he's just concerned. I'd be scared to let my younger siblings fish all by themselves, too. Do you want to give it a go now? Really? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I'll be right here to make sure you don't fall in or anything. Thank you very much, Ash. I'm going to catch a big one! That line bend. It must be huge. <sighs> Curses. It escaped. I caught a glimpse of its shadow when you tried to reel it in. That thing was a monster. I'm surprised to learn this river is home to a fish as large as that. Same. I've been coming here for a long time and never once seen one that big. It is decided, then. The next time I find that fish, I will capture it! Will you join me again when that time comes? My brother will be more amenable if you agree to be there watching over me. Seth amenable? Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> but sure, I'd be glad to tag along. From the slimy depths of the swamp they rise Great beasties of every shape and size They dance in a ring and... No, that's not right. Their slime they fling and... Huh? Who's there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Are you getting in a little choir practice there? Oh, it's you, Sylvain. Were you listening that whole time? Pretty much. I must say, that song's super creep... Uh, I mean, creative! You're the only person I know who could think of something like that. I feel like you were about to use another word there. <laughs> nope. Great song. Top notch. Uh, A+. Plus. Are you going to perform it soon? I was actually gonna sing it for everyone later tonight. I came up with the lyrics in tune myself, and now that I'm finished, I can perform it loud and proud. And it's a song about swamp beasties. Did I hear that part right? And what's wrong with swamp beasties? Nothing in particular. It's just that if you're gonna sing it in front of everyone, maybe it should be, I don't know, relatable? I mean, swamp beasties are so... Beastie. Ugh. Wouldn't it be better with a puppy or a baby sheep or something cute like that? Hmm, I see what you're saying. Cute animals, cute animals. Oh, what about bears? Huge ones! Yeah, I guess huge bears are better than beasties. I mean, they are pretty cute when they're not trying to tear your face off. Okay, that's good. Except, I'm pretty sure bears don't live in swamps. 
So if you switch it up, it should probably be about giant bears dancing in the woods. <laughs> that is the most adorable thing I've ever heard. Are you secretly a professional songwriter, Sylvain? Absolutely not. In fact, I feel like I should apologize for butting in with ideas when you've clearly been working so hard on this. Oh, don't apologize. If it helps make it a song everyone will enjoy, I'm all for it. I'm glad we're close enough for you to give your honest opinion. Well, I've never been one to ignore hardworking girls like you. And I'd love to hear it when it's finished. Wait, what's with the look? Did you come up with the new lyrics already? Yep. Your suggestions gave me all the inspiration I needed. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, why don't you sing it for me? Of course. I'm sure you'll love it. From the forest they appear, a sleuth the bears with cute brown ears. They dance in a ring and enjoy the beats, but tonight they'll feast on meaty treats. That actually might be more creepy somehow. But hey, maybe writing weird songs is a talent all of its own. At the very least, they're great at distracting me from real life worries. <laughs> Thanks, Annette. Looks like there's lots of bugs around here. Go on and eat a bunch and grow nice and big plants. Hey, Bernie Bee. Doing a little garden care? Huh? Oh, uh, yes. Do you need something, Happy? Oh, wait. Wait! Are you here to finish me off and turn me into fertilizer? No! I'm completely devoid of nutritional content. I'm basically just air. No, but if you want to be fertilizer that badly, I'm certain it could be arranged. I just wanted to mention how I'm surprised to find carnivorous plants growing here. I was curious who was taking care of them, and now I seem to have found my answer. Yeah, carnivorous plants are my favorites. And mine as well. I had no idea we were such kindred spirits. That's so great! I never thought I'd find another carnivorous plant lover in all of Falkland! Yay! You really don't need to yell like that. So, which one do you like best, Bernie Bee? There's a lot to consider after all. The aroma, the texture, the way you prepare it. Oh yeah! Some smell nice, and some are just soft as all get out. Uh, but the way they're prepared? Like, how you take care of them? Hmm... I suppose there's a lot of variance there, too. Indeed. So of the ones here, which is your favorite? Maybe... this one. The one that looks like a jug. I like that one as well. It smells divine. And the experience really changes depending on what kind of berries you stuff it with. Can't say I've ever thought to stuff it full of berries, but I definitely see how that would change things. Oh, but I also like this one here with the leaves that act like a mouth. They're so teensy and cute, and they blossom with white flowers. I could just stare at them all day. Interesting. I always pick them before the flowers can bloom, so I didn't know that. Aren't the buds wonderful? Of course, wrapping with leaves is great, too. Yeah, the buds are unusual. I love them. And it's fun watching the leaves move. I'm happy you like watching them as much as me. Watching? Huh? In any case, now we know we like the same ones. We should have a bite together next chance we get. Anyway, I have to be off. See ya. Yep. Next time we'll go out together and... um... Get something to eat? I guess that sounds nice.
Care to make yourself useful? We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Do our fair care to make yourself useful? Must do our fair share. 